Hello zombies. I am in a ghost town. He's coming back. No, it's ghosts. There's a ghost waving the flag. See that guy was saying because he was trying to get the flag. Hopefully. When he made a beeline for the car, I was like. Yeah. I thought he was going to that far. It was weird that he crossed that. Hello, zombies. I am in a ghost town. He's coming back. Um, I am in Jerome, Arizona. I'm scared. I can't until I know that we're safe. I can't until I know that we're safe. Kind of, about the town. Yeah. No, 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 just makeup. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Hello, zombies. I am in a ghost town, Jerome, Arizona, to be specific. This town is supposedly haunted. It was a hugely successful copper mining town in the early 1900s. There were over 10,000 people that lived in this tiny little place, but the population dwindled to under 100 by the 1950s. And they've kind of revamped it a little bit with tourism, so it's not the most ghosty of ghost towns, but it is said to be quite haunted in several locations in this tiny little area. It seems super interesting. It's very cute. I'm scared right now because I don't like being outside. Can you? T My body language has got to be like the worst right now. I'm currently in front of the ruins of an old hotel. Straight up ruins and it's very creepy and it's very cool. If you see me looking over my shoulder a lot, it's because I'm paranoid. So I'm gonna try to get through a pretty simple desert inspired makeup look very quickly so I can GTFO and hopefully not disturb anyone. It's uh, midnight and there's no one around. I think max there's only 400 people that live here now anyway, but it's eerie. And yeah, I'll tell you more as I start doing makeup, but let's get into it so I can get out of here. P.S. I know that it's gonna be hard to see exactly what makeup I'm doing, but I think this series is more about the experience of where we are and watching me get scared progressively more and more than it is about the makeup that I'm doing. So everything's gonna be pretty simple. I'll talk you through it anyway. I'll zoom in if need be. This is a watch me get scared series more than anything. Okay, so desert inspired. The first thing I wanna do is look like the opposite of how I feel right now. So I wanna look like a badass by putting a badass scar on my face as though I've seen some shit walking through the desert. I haven't seen shit yet, but there's still time for a ghost. Oh, f 
me up. So I want my scar to be right there. Yes, you are my scar. I think I'll put one up here too. Then I'm using the scariest thing in this entire place, Rigid Collodion, to form this car. While I'm waiting for these layers to dry, one of the most haunted areas of Jerome is supposed to be the Grand Hotel, which is at the very top of this little town. 5,000 feet above sea level right now. There's not a lot out there, but that's Sedona, I think, down there. This town is creepy because it sits on the side of a mountain. It's over 5,000 feet in elevation and you use windy roads to get up to it. It's kind of like visually very threatening because it's just this big thing that you see driving up to. But the hotel sits at the very top of the town and the very top of the road that goes up the mountain and it's huge and it used to be a hospital so the reason that that is supposedly haunted is because when it was a hospital over 9,000 people died at it so it's super weird to me that it's a hotel now that people just sleep in it's a weird way to renovate something like that every little noise i'm like <laughs> see here's the thing guys See, here's the thing, guys. I'm not afraid of ghosts, or at least I don't think I am right now. Maybe by the end of this series, I will be. I don't think I'm afraid of ghosts, so when we do those kinds of locations, I feel like I'm gonna feel more confident, but I am afraid of people. <laughs> people scare me. So in one like this, where I'm just kind of out, unprotected, I feel very vulnerable and creeped out. So Rigid Collodion is really awesome to use because it's so effective in doing a very unique kind of thing, but it's really intense. It indents the skin and it creates this scar effect. You wanna be really, really careful with this stuff because it's nasty. I feel like I don't know how to be funny when I'm scared. Is that a thing? Is that a normal thing to experience is not knowing how to be funny when you're scared? I'm fine, it's fine, this is fine. So in order to get this effect, you have to do like 10 layers. Or at least I feel like I need to do at least 10 layers before I start to see it. Okay, I am officially a badass. Only from the outside. On the inside, I'm a chicken right now. It's my chicken impression. Not bad, eh? So now, for more desert inspiration, we need to mimic the effects of a lot of sun exposure. Seeing as I'm a ginger and I just don't know how to tan, I would be f***ed in a desert situation. I have been dousing myself in sunscreen since I got here. Um... So, so I'm gonna try to mimic the look of some sunburn on my face and some peeliness and grossness like that using a red cream paint and a healthy dash of self-preservation in a place that I don't know anything about anything. This is totally safe. Don't do this at home. Okay. I'm gonna put some on my cheeks first because that's where the sun would hit your face. I thought about doing like the cheesy sunglasses mark line type thing. I think I might just do the cheesy I was wearing a bandana in the sun thing. Put a line here. I don't know. I haven't decided. Depends how scared we get. Is it? <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> you just waved? It's <laughs> great. I'll take it. Okay. Sufficiently burnt. Did 
Did you hear that? That was a ghost Honda. Nail to peel. Now I'm going to use this scar gel by Makeup Forever. You can use latex if you don't have scar gel. Like any of you guys are gonna be doing this at home anyway. Or in a ghost town. But it's kind of just like gelatin. And I'm going to pat it on my skin and on my cheeks so we can get peely up in here. So I feel like red is an appropriate color for this look because one of the ghosts said to haunt this town is a lady in red right down there. There's a hotel down there that is apparently haunted AF. I can see it from here. Then there's a lady in red that haunts it along with a few other kinds of ghosts. This is not really working how I wanted it to. That's great. And apparently this town was bumping back in the day. It was called the wickedest town in the West by the New York Sun in like 1903 or some crazy shit, I don't know. Because it was as cliche as you can get as far as a Wild West kind of town. I feel like a history lesson right now. Settle in y'all, get out your history books. We're doing history with Mikey. This will be on the exam. It was known for gambling. I heard a door squeak, I'm scared. It was known for gambling, prostitution, and alcohol, which is just so wild, wild west. When the room to the fun fact, did you guys know that Will Smith passed up the chance to be Neo in the Matrix to film Wild Wild West instead? That is like the biggest mistake that has ever happened on Earth right under this video. Okay, we're gonna switch to latex because this isn't doing what I expected it to do. Love when that happens. I just wanna leave. <laughs> I'm fine. This is fine. I'm over this. How you doing? Look out. Okay. Putting latex on the cheeks, gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna peel it off. Isn't someone walking up right now? Near the cars? Oh yeah. It looks like I'm putting on sunscreen, funny enough, but no. We definitely have to have this peel on the nose because no one who's ever had sun- because everyone who's ever had sunburn on their face knows that the nose peels first. We're just loving this car, right? Yeah, right before he murders us. It's like it's making it. <laughs> it doesn't look good right now, but it will. Where my name isn't my- my- what's my name? I'm scared. <sighs> Okay, what can we do now? I also want to put latex on my lips, which if you have a lower ammonia latex, that shouldn't be too harsh or too intense, but do that at your own risk. I want to mimic really cracked, dehydrated lips as though I've been like crawling through a desert. I don't know. I am notoriously bad at drinking water, so it only makes sense that if I found myself in a desert, my lips would be so chapped. They are chapped on a daily basis whether I am drinking enough water or not. Side effect of Accutane for life. Thank you, Accutane. So I'm going to crack my lips by adding some latex around the edges of them. Did you hear that? Yeah. <sighs> this is a look. You know what, honestly, if someone came across me right now, they'd be more afraid of me, probably, because I look like a crazy person. They're not throwing out shit from a bar, they're throwing out bodies. Yeah. It's funny that I chose to do such a subtle look for this when y'all can't really see what I'm doing. But again, it's not about that. It's about me entertaining you, which I'm doing a very poor job of because I'm scared. Honestly, I think of all the ones I'm gonna do for Halloween, this one is going to scare me second most. And the one that's gonna scare me first most might be the last one that you see, but they're all exciting. And I'm so happy to do them all until I'm in the situation. And then I wish I didn't. Oh, and the most haunted thing about this whole place is there's a restaurant called The Haunted Hamburger. I ate there earlier today. Pretty good quesadillas. Didn't try the burgers, but it's an old house that was renovated to be a restaurant. Apparently it's haunted and people see ghosts and hear things and things turn on and I'm going I'm going so now my cheeks are dry so I'm gonna start peeling the latex by just kind of picking at it and rubbing a little bit yo even the bugs sound scary here you hear that that was like a mutant bug wear sunscreen kids
Welcome to 20 Minutes of Mikey Looking Around Nervously. Why is every door creaky as f- in this town? Can't you oil the doors of a ghost town? Way to be a cliche. I'm still scared. And then I'm gonna... Um, and then I'm painting the cracks in between the latex that I peeled off so that it looks like a split lip. This look is really fun to do because this is something that I did really early on on my Instagram. I think like 100 days of makeup old. So it's a nice little visit to the past. I hope I make it to my future outside of Jerome, Arizona. We'll see. All right, we're almost done because I want to get the f out of here. I'll have to do a close up so you guys can see that I'm actually doing something. I swear, it doesn't look like much but I picked a very subtle look for a very far away shot. I wanted you to see the ruins. It's so quiet here. I'm whispering and I am loud as f in this quiet ass town. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. So the final step of desert transformation is I need to, I think, dirty myself up with some dust. Like I've been rolling around in the desert in a sandstorm. Alexa, play Sandstorm by Daru. So to do that, I have plains dust and a sponge from the sea, which is very far away from the desert. And I'm going to town, going to ghost town. <laughs> can you hear that cricket? I hope you can hear that cricket. He's loud. Oh my my. Don't wanna be. I'm gonna leave the lashes and mascara looking perfect though because realistically, yes, I'd have sunburn, I'd have cracked lips, I would have badass scars, but nothing would mess up my lashes. I am in control of those. All right, sufficiently dirty. Let's do some teeth stain because I want to get gross. I guess the idea is that you don't have a lot of time for personal hygiene when you're out in the desert looking for water. There is, but it's it picks up a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Teeth are sufficiently. F oh, this is gonna make a great first impression. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna try not to smile. Eye blood. It's the only appropriate thing left to do. While there's a cop walking towards me. Maybe the sheriff. Well, let's hope no one messes with us now, because I can't see shit. Okay. And that's the look. We did it. And we live to tell the tale. Oh, I have a lot of blood on my hands. Whoops. Wait, I shouldn't say that out loud. There's still a sheriff, like, 30 feet from me. And I'm talking about blood on my hands. It's not a good look. We're done. And of course, my hair would be kind of messed up. I guess, because I wouldn't have a brush. Brushes don't exist in the desert. I don't even make sense. I just want to leave. I want to go home. We should take you around Jerome now, give you a little bit of a tour. I never thought I'd live to see this day. Literally, because I thought I was gonna die all night. Okay. No, I'm not being dramatic. A lot of scary people walked up to us. A lot of scary drunk people, because drunk people are scary. And the only thing open right now are like two saloon bars, one of which is haunted. I'm just saying, like you don't know if there's drunk people walking out of those bars or ghosts that have taken the form of a human. I hear things, but I can't see anything. Okay. I can't believe I just put eye blood in when I'm wearing lily lashes. What a waste. Not the ones to ruin. I'm scared. I'm scared. I hate this and I'm scared. This is such an interesting town with such a weird history. Like, the Western is such a cliche that you almost don't believe that those places ever really existed, and yet this is that place. This is apparently the largest ghost town in America known for everything the wild west was known for mining and money and alcohol and gambling and prostitution and ghosts and hauntings and murders and it's creepy 
I like it. It's a very unique place, especially because of its location geographically. And might I add, we were filming here in the middle of the night because I thought about trying to film here in the day, but when I was here earlier today, all of a sudden, a flash flood hailstorm happened. And it happened when we were driving along the side of a mountain. So that's probably the spookiest thing that's that's happened in Jerome so far. Sorry, this is like on a weird spot on my face the whole time, wasn't it? It's very Blair Witch, my bad. Otherwise, I'm not getting any bad vibes from it. It just feels like a town with a lot of history. A lot, a lot of history. I'm very out of focus. Whoops, it's hard to selfie with this camera. Did it blast the ISO? We are in pitch black darkness. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of stars. Abandoned shit, giant creepy buildings at the top of mountains, you know, everything you'd want in a ghost town. Really? Oh no, I don't like this at all. This is straight up where people come to get murdered. Open 24 hours, yeah, I bet you are. That's so creepy. Like there's literal bats flying around. There's bats flying around? There's bats flying around. This is a movie, I'm in a movie, a horror movie, clearly. Middle of nowhere. <sighs> I'm leaving, so I'm happy, because I'm scared. Cars, ghost cars, driven by ghosts. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm scared. I don't like being here. I want to leave. Honestly, this town doesn't feel that spooky to me. Like, I was scared being out in the middle of nowhere and vulnerable, but everyone who talked to us was nice, even though they scared the shit out of me walking up to us. So, overall success. This is a kind of a his poor makeup job, but considering uh, my nervousness, I feel like I did pretty good. Goodbye, Jerome. Oh my god, I love that movie! This ended up being so cool, and the funny thing is, is that I came out here planning to film in the middle of nowhere, just like a giant, empty, desert-type field, but I met a zombie in Phoenix who suggested we come to Jerome, because it's spooky. So, thank you, Marissa. Great suggestion. You wanna see how dark it gets in the middle of nowhere? Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. And it's so quiet. Oh my god, it's scary. Wow. It's scary. Oh my, it's so dark, it's terrifying. I wanna come out on your side. I'm like afraid to get out on my side. I'm crawling over there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know why you're whispering either. Step out. I don't know. But I don't want to close the door Why? in case a rattlesnake comes up to us. My ISO is at 409,000 and it's not picking up anything. That's how dark it is out here. All that light, it is not that light to the naked eye. That's because my ISO is so, so high, but there's just nothing out here. It's so quiet. It's really scary, <laughs> but also really pretty as of stars. You can see Jerome from here. See all the sparkling lights up there? That's Jerome. All right, we did it. We filmed in a haunted ghost town. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit subscribe if you are excited to see what other places I'm gonna visit for Halloween. Did I do hit subscribe? Yeah, hit subscribe. Like this video if you would like a haunted hamburger. Hit the bell even though it doesn't work. And I will see you guys for the next video. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.